to start this segment of Ask Stan any question in the universe that we got on our Ask Stan website, uh, Tales of Stan website, which has turned into a very popular website now. And uh, the first question we have for you, Stan, in the universe is from a 34-year-old single woman in Los Angeles. Stan, my relationship is floundering. Each time I go on a date with my boyfriend, Roy, he ignores me and looks at other women. What should I do? Um, first of all, I think you need to talk to him about that. And if, if he's rejecting you, then uh, that, that tells you something right there that perhaps he's not the one for you. But you would have to have a conversation with him first. Don't be afraid to talk to him about this subject. And then you'll be able to resolve it. Find out if he's really in love with you or not. Or if he's just putting you on. You know, that's what I would do. Okay, very good. This is from a 19-year-old man who lives in San Francisco. Stan, do you think it's okay to eat fried foods? I love fried chicken. I eat it three times a day. What should I be eating? And what kind of diet should I be on? I forgot to mention that I'm over 300 pounds. Will girls still like me? Well, you know, you can't tell a book by its cover. So maybe girls will like you. Um, as far as diets are concerned, personally, I recommend salmon. It's been recommended to me. Salmon and maybe a salad on the side. Uh, if you want to get lighter, um, maybe turkey burgers as opposed to regular hamburgers. Um, maybe make a salad for yourself. Just a salad with all kinds of ingredients. With, uh, what could be in the salad? Probably oh, put tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, uh, scallions, tofu, tofu squares. Whatever you like. You know, what else? Croutons. Yeah, you want Whatever you like. What Jeez. are the different kinds uh, of dressings you could use? Um, I think you have a kind of a Greek cheese that, uh, that, that, that that's out there. You know, that's the, you know the type of cheese. Thing. How e easy would it is, is the change from fried chicken no, to the salad? Che the the What's the psychological change? What's the name change? of the cheese? Feta. Feta cheese. Yeah. Feta cheese. So what's what psychologically to change from eating chicken oh, three you, times you, you a day? Eat chicken once in a while, maybe once a week. Fried chicken? Yes, once a week maybe. Reduce your your intake. Don't eat it all the time. Have other have a variety. Uh, three hundred pounds. What should he do? Well, he could go on long walks and then eventually develop a program where he's walking and running a little bit until he maybe. Eventually, it gets to run. What else could he do? Just eat, eat foods that are light. So Salads, uh, salmon, uh, turkey burgers. What happens if he can't do that, though? He's not disciplined. Well, you have to develop a discipline. In order to lose weight, you have to want to lose weight. It's like with anything. If you really want something bad enough, you'll do it. And you have to really want to lose the weight. So. Okay. All right, this is from a waitress in Modesto. Stan, how long does the earth have to survive? Will the sun burn out soon? <laughs> this is a strange question. How long does the... I'm going to retire soon and I need a boob job. <laughs> I don't want to die when the sun burns out. Assure me the earth will survive for a long time. <laughs> well, uh, in our lifetime, uh, we don't have to worry about it. Are you sure? Well, uh, you know, I mean, unless something freak happens. In our lifetime, we, we, I don't have anything to worry about. Uh, Can you assure me of that? I'm a little worried myself. I think that, you know, in millenniums to come, you know, there might be a problem with, uh, with the earth. You know, um, my brother Harry wrote, um, my brother Harry, is, you know, wrote a story, um, called colonies and that eventually what we'll do is we will migrate from where we are now to other planets and hopefully there will be um, buildings on those planets and places for us to live in and we'll, we'll you know become adjusted to that. But that's, what? That's way in the future. I don't get it. 
Well, yeah. what, don't, what don't you get? The whole part of buildings and planets. Well, we're going to eventually, like, we're going to form colonies. They say the Earth is burning out. We're going to form colonies and we're going to get on spaceships. You say the Earth is burning out? Well, the Earth basically, or the Sun is burning out. Well, yeah, well, let, let's get back to the important part of this, the boob job. Wow. Right. What would you tell her about the boob job as opposed to the Sun burning out? Well, first of all, I'll ask her if she really needs it. Well, I think she has to make some consideration whether she really needs a boob job. What's the consideration for a boob job? Is it, you know, is it, is it out of this world? Is it something that she has to have? Out of this world? That's very good. Or is it the end of the world if she doesn't have it? Okay, so, so what if the sun burns out before she gets a boob job? Well, you know, that's just, it's, that's up to God, you know. That's up to the, the, okay. the God in the sky and okay. whatever. God in the sky. Okay. This is from a fireman in Los Angeles. Stan, I think I need some help with my finances. I've got way too many. Wait, wait. Can you uh, stop at this point because we need to check the soup? Check the soup? I'll tell you, Janet's we need, we need to turn it off. No, it's okay. She knows. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Janet, you have to turn the soup off. Can I just okay. tell her? You were talking about the website. What, what was your comment about the website? Well, I look like Vincent Van Gogh on acid in that thing. It's just a very strange, uh, very strange. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so let's continue. So this is from a fireman in Los Angeles. Stan, I think I need some help with my finances. I've got way too many credit cards. People keep calling me, wanting money. What should I do? I probably owe about twenty-five thousand dollars to them. Stan, help me now. Okay. Uh, the name of this gentleman? He doesn't know the name. Okay. Fireman. Fireman. Well, first of all, you need, you need to get in, in touch with a credit counselor. It's on. Okay. A credit counselor. And there are several of them. You know, credit located. counselor? Right. What's that? To help you finance your credit so you can pay your credit off. Are you Should he answer his phone? Uh, if I were you, yeah. Yeah. I would get uh, a tape recording machine of some kind of device. Don't answer your phone. Uh, let them call you, but you don't have to pick up. That way, they can leave you alone. But a credit counselor will definitely help you. Uh, they'll send letters for you to the companies that are bothering you. What if he has to go to court? Should he have someone go with him? Well, see a credit counselor. I'm sure that, that there are, are lawyers out there, attorneys, uh, who could help him out with that. Should he, should he have a sister-in-law go with him? Wait, wait, let me get to that. Sister-in-law? Mm -hmm. is, is that a question on the, on the paper? No, I'm just asking. Should he have a sister-in-law go with him to help him? Because you may not understand what's going on. Well, you, should, you know, it's, it won't hurt if you go to court and you have someone who you know uh, to help you out. What should you also, say to the judge? Well, that's, uh, you know, I, I can't imagine that. I, a, an attorney or a counsel will tell you what to say. Have you, have you ever had an experience like that? Uh, I don't really want to talk about that on, on, uh, on video. Okay. So the answer is no? The answer is I'd rather not discuss it. Okay. This is from an insurance salesman, Woodland Hills. Stan, please help. I'm having a sex change operation next week. <laughs> this is a tough one. Can I see that? <laughs> it's right off of the thing. When I become a woman, how will I feel? Let me see this. This is what I want. I definitely want, you know, front row center seats. Um, Wait a minute, you know, finish. First of all, first of all, I don't know your name. Oh, go ahead. Keep sales, this is an insurance sale with the house. Okay, Stan, please help me. I'm having a sex change operation. When I become a woman, how will I feel? <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. Would you be willing to date a transsexual? Um. Why are we having a sex change? Wow, don't jump on my foot, Sean. Um, first of all, I highly recommend that you see uh, a therapist or someone uh, who you can discuss this with. Um, we often you know, think things about ourselves that maybe we don't need to think about. 
So I would be uh, a little bit reluctant to uh, do something like that. I, if I were you, I would talk to the therapist, discuss your feelings about it. And as far as my personal uh, thoughts about dating one, um, right now I'm going out with someone and I'm happy with that. Someone. Is that a code word for something? It's not a code word. According to Charlie, it's a code word. But according to Stan, it just means person. You know, code. Yeah. What does code word mean? So if, so so, for, so if a person had, had this operation and had their, their Johnson removed, would you be willing to go out with them? I would have a discussion with them. You know, I, I'd rather have the real deal. What if they were really attractive? I'd rather have the real deal. It's just a, it's a tough question, and these are tough times, and I think that sometimes we tend to get into trends, and I know that that's a trend, you know, and uh, it's something that I really don't know about. Yeah. That's why I would recommend somebody who, who has an idea, uh, a good psychological doctor okay. might be able to help you out with that. So what if, but what if she was, he, she was beautiful? And Ruth. could steal you away from Heidi. I do not, I have no intention of going out with, with a person who isn't. What if you nature. didn't know? I could discuss. What if you didn't know, Stan? I could discuss. What if what you got married and then later found out? Again, I'd be willing to discuss, uh, you know, I ha have a, a luncheon or a dinner date with this individual. But I, I personally, it is not my thing. I'm not into that, so I, okay. I, I, you know, I can't go. Well, you could it. be into it, right? That's not. I cannot be into it because it's not my thing. Well, here, Harry, would you date me? Charlie, yeah. would you date me? Okay. Well, but the question is to you, Stan. The question, See, we don't know as much as you. Well, I personally think that it's it's really up to the individual. You know, and obviously, if that's what you are, then you'd have to. You know, date a, a variety of people and find out who likes you. And who but the interesting thing is, what if you didn't know? What if I didn't know? Yeah. And then you found out, let's say years later after you were married, what would you do then? Um, I don't want to go there. Okay. Let's go to the next question. This is from a seven year old in Calabasas. Stan, I think you are cool. I love your site. I brought a picture of you on the website to Green Elementary School. Everyone thought you were cool. How old are you? It looks like you were at least 11. What advice could you give me on health care? Do you brush your teeth every day? Mom says I need to change my underwear. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you change your poopy underwear? Stan, you are my hero. Well, I'm, I'm 50 years old. And uh, I change my underwear every day. Um, Whether you need it or not? Five zero, I'm not eleven. I'm fifty years old. Do you brush your teeth every day? Brush my teeth. And what do you? What every day. toothbrush do you use? Well, I I use a Reach toothbrush. Can you open your mouth real wide? Uh, oh wait, wait, come on, let's show him. Mar uh, real wide, Stan. Say ah. Stan. Do I have to take this abuse? Just or? show the child your teeth. Oh, nice teeth. A little discolored, but nice. Okay. Hey, see the seven-year-old? No, no. <laughs> now, did you make these up, Harry? Or are these real questions? <laughs> I can't answer that right now. You made these up, did no, you? No, I didn't. Look, they're printed. Okay. Okay, so. How could Harry do that? I can't print out things from a website. Alright. Alright. That was mommy. That's right. Can I? No. Okay. So, so you brush your teeth. What kind of toothbrush do you recommend? I, I have a Reach toothbrush. That's mm -hmm. what I use. Okay. And what kind of a toothpaste? Uh, I use Crest Whitening. Really? Does it work? I think it does. Should a seven-year-old use Crest Whitening? Why not? Why not? Unless what if they already have white, white teeth? That's a little toxic, well, isn't it, Stan? First of all, um, that's a difficult question for me to answer. Isn't that a little toxic? All I can say is that there are children's toothpastes out there. Okay, would you be willing to go out to Green Elementary School and, and talk to this person's class? Um, Green, well, where is it located? Calabasas. Certainly. Yeah? Certainly. And what would you talk about? What would your topic be? Well, first of all, um, my brother Charlie had an interesting uh, idea. Um, 
about brushing teeth and putting baking soda and salt together mm -hmm. and making a mix of it. Do you and think then, you can get kids to do that though? Might be difficult. Um, what would you do to force someone to do? It? You can't force any anything on anyone, like you know, <laughs> making a, making a website out of somebody with, you know, without asking them their permission to do it and just going in. Yeah, but isn't that the point? Is is not asking that. Well, again, you know, um, there are children's toothpastes out there. I recommend you look into them and you ask a store cook about. Uh, children's toothpaste and find out what's right for you. Now, Stan, he's your hero. So, would you send him a signed autograph picture of yourself? Well, let me ask you here. Do we have some autograph pictures? <laughs> Coming up soon. Coming up soon, Stan. People will be recognizing you on the street. Okay. What about the t-shirts? Yeah, they're coming soon. And hats. Merchandising. Merchandising. Stan, you'll be wearing them all over the place. One thing though, selling at the Grove. I think Stan should give his trademark taking the glasses off and... Ready, Stan, at the end, here we go. What do you want me to say? You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> and that's the end of our Ask Stan interview.